everyone. I recently found out that e.l.f. Eyes, Lips, Face, which is a very inexpensive sort of drugstore brand, sells a sort of their answer to the Guerlain Meteorites. And I wanted to kind of compare the two side by side and see how they stack up. These are the e.l.f. Mineral Pearls from Eyes, Lips, Face. So this is what the e.l.f. ones look like. Um, they are, and I got the light color, they call this one Skin Balancing. So it is a bunch of pastel little gumball looking things in a package and then it comes with a powder puff. I guess you can powder puff it onto your face. Um, I used a brush though today. Now some of these are shimmery and some of them are sort of matte. So the gold ones are very pretty. They're very golden, shimmery. So what you're supposed to do with both of these, these and the Guerlain, is you're supposed to take a brush, a big fluffy brush, swirl them around, swirl it around on these little meteorite, little pearl things, and then sort of dust your entire face with them. It's supposed to be a finishing powder. So I would think not really a setting powder, but a finishing powder on top of everything that you're that you've already done. That's how I put them on. I've, so before I get into that, let me show you my massive elf haul that I got. Okay, this is my crazy elf haul. This over here is what I ordered from elf.com and this is what I got for free. I mean, way more than I ordered. They were having a a, a promotion, a Mother's Day promotion where if you ordered X amount, it wasn't even that much you got this free gift. Well, this was the free gift. Insane. So I've been really interested in these sort of pearls that e.l.f. has. They're kind of like the meteorites from Guerlain, and I wanted to do a comparison. So I ordered both of them, um, and then I wanted this highlighter brush that they have. And also, I was interested in this gel melt cleanser. Um, I'm thinking this is kind of like the Clinique one that I love so much, except this one's only $10. And I got for free all of this stuff. I got a free lipstick. I got an under eye setting powder, which I've used before and haven't really liked, but I might give it another try. Um, I got an eyeshadow trio, a baked eyeshadow trio, not really my colors, but anyway, free. Um, an eyeliner pen. I'm excited about this one. And, um, an eyelid primer, which you can always use, and one of their famous C brushes, like shaped like the letter C. This is really good for putting on um, dark colors in sort of the corner of your eye. So I think I did pretty well on my little haul here. So the e.l.f. Mineral Pearls has no scent um, whatsoever. It sort of, I guess you could say, has a plastic-y, painty, chemical-y smell a little bit. That may just be this plastic bottle. I don't know, but I can definitely smell it. So they look to be the same size as the Girl on Meteorites. I will show you those next. So the biggest difference between these two is the cost and the smell. The Girl on Meteorites that I picked up were $62 from um, Neiman's and the e.l.f. ones were, I want to say, $6. I'll go look for that price. The second biggest thing is the packaging. You know, e.l.f has this plastic cheap packaging. Guerlain has this very fancy silvery looking case that's very pretty on your vanity. The third thing that is a huge, huge difference between the two is the smell. The e.l.f. ones have no smell. The Guerlain ones, I hate to even open up because the perfume wafts out of them in a giant cloud. They make me start to sneeze right away. It is a very sort of powdery old lady smelling perfume. So the meteorites in the Guerlain product, the pearl, the white ones and the gold ones are very metallic-y, pearly. Um, the green, purple, and pink ones are more of a matte. So let's kind of hold these up side by side and see. So here they are side by side. There don't seem to be any, in fact, there's a pale pink version in here. There is not that rosy pink like that in the e.l.f. ones. There's the golds that look to be similar. The greens look to be very similar. Um, this, the e.l.f. ones have blue, like a turquoise blue ball in there, and the Guerlain do not. The Guerlain has sort of a shimmery, very pale pink in there. Um, the e.l.f. does not. So I think overall the Guerlain has more shimmers in it and also just more very various colors in there. Guerlain also comes with a powder puff in it. 
So I tried both of these on. One day I used the Guerlain and I filmed it, and then today I have on the Elf, and I'll show you the Guerlain. So I do love the little tin that the Guerlain comes in. It's just really elegant and classy. It almost looks like it could be real sterling silver. It's so pretty. This is, again, is the Light Revealing Pearls of Powder, color number two, Claire. So I put this on a fluffy brush and I applied this after I had finished all of my other makeup as sort of a finishing powder. What I think it's sort of useful for or what they have, the idea that they have behind this is to sort of give you a glow without any kind of highlighting or shimmer or glitter or any of that stuff. Just sort of give you a glow after you've put everything else on and give you sort of a, a glow, a, a glowing skin look. I think that it did sort of do that. I could see sort of a glow as I would turn and look on the sides of my nose. Overall, I didn't really, you know, see a huge difference. I admit it's probably going to be a subtle difference, but I didn't see a huge difference. Let me swatch this on the back of my hand. And of course, I've been swatching things all day long so that um, I'm going to have stains on the back of my hand. Here's the Guerlain. Um, it's sort of very white. And I don't know if you can see the shimmeringness of it or the pearliness of it. It is a bit shimmery and pearly. Um, it's very white. It has a very light sparkle. It's definitely not glitter in it, but it's got sort of a sheeny shimmer to it. Now let's put the e.l.f. on the other side, and I'll use the powder puff for this like I did with the other one. I am loving the unscented aspect of the e.l.f. one, I have to say. Oh my gosh. Whoa. You put it side by side, and the whiteness is very much apparent of the e.l.f. one. Very white. I'm seeing larger pieces of glitter in it than I am in this. But boy, look, they both shine. This still has sort of a shimmer, this e.l.f. one. Still has sort of a shimmer to it without glitteriness. Um, the... Guerlain one seems to be a little bit pinker in tone as I'm looking at it. This one's very white. They're both very white-ish, but the Guerlain one, I think because it has those deep rose pearls in it, it seems to be a little pinker. So, side-by-side -side comparison, um, and, and here's my elf, here's the e.l.f. today. So side-by-side -side comparison, um, and you would never wear it this heavily on your face. This is sort of just, I put it on pretty heavily so that you can see the difference between the two. Um, the e.l.f. one is kind of sheerer, um, and it's sort of going into my lines. The Guerlain one is not really doing that on my dry, papery, old lady backs of my hands. Um, I wish the Guerlain did not have as much perfume as it does because that's really putting me off. That, side by side, they kind of compare fairly well with each other um, for a, you know, sort of a light shimmer finishing powder. I don't think the e.l.f. product is bad. As close as they are in finish and in look, the price on the e.l.f. is just amazing. So Guerlain and e.l.f. I think e.l.f. did a really good job. You can see a quality difference side by side on my hand. It's not quite the same quality as the Guerlain. The Guerlain is loaded with perfume and I'm so tired of sneezing all the time. So I don't know about that, but, and then the price is huge, price difference is huge, but if you don't mind, you know, sacrificing just a little bit and using a really interesting finishing powder, I think the e.l.f. will work out for you. By the way, in my e.l.f. haul, um, I received as a free product one of their eye primers, eyelid primers, and uh, in case you're one, in case you were thinking about getting this, just don't, okay? <laughs> So I did not even look at this, but when I took it out of the package, uh, it is actually a pearl color. I thought it was just going to be a regular eyelid primer, and I put it on today. I started to put it on, and it is just so gross and flaky and glittery and weird. I did not know it was pearl. I just whipped it on. Anyway, it just looks like a nice white, super white primer, eyelid primer. It is loaded with this weird flaky glitter. And then it, that got all underneath my eyes when I when I put this on my eyes today. I just had to take this like off immediately. It's just a gross, gross product. Um, that's going in the trash. There, it's in the trash. Bye. Thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you soon.